Hello, my name is Jean Campos. I'm a UCP representative, supplier of the Premier Paint at Canadian Tire. I'm here today with... Jason Benel cormier I am your Premier Paint representative and expert. Great. So today we're here to talk to you about uh, how to stain your deck. So tips, some advices on how to do your deck. Um, we uh, had videos on surface preparation. We had a video introducing all of our uh, exterior stain tiers. So now, Jason. Yes. Can you give us step by step how to stain a deck please. absolutely but before we get to how to stain a deck we need to make sure that the stay the deck is ready for uh, to be stained yes. to accept the stain. okay okay so Great. now that we've talked about getting the surface prep and yes. we're all ready to make sure that the uh, deck is dry and ready to accept the stain in there's two little tricks that we can use all right tell so me about it one of them is the heat on your deck I like to use the trick if I take my sock off and I step on the patio, if it's too hot to stand on, it is too hot to stain. I understand. It bakes the stain when you put it on. On the and surface. Then the sun bakes the top. The only thing that's left in the middle is the good part. So you're wasting your money. I understand. Okay. The other trick I like to use to make sure that there's not enough too much water inside of the yep. of the of the deck boards. Take a little bit of water and sprinkle it. Sprinkle? Yep. yep, absolutely. So if it soaks into the wood, so will your stain. It's ready. If it beads off, the wood is still too wet to accept the stain. So now we did the foot test. We did the water test. My surface is prepped. My surface is ready to receive stain. Which applicator should I use? How to do it? Good question, because between a semi-transparent and a solid stain, you yep. can use a couple of different uh, different tools to get the job done and job done well. Okay. One of the things I really, really like is using a large staining brush like this. Great. A good trick is the handle does come off, so oh. you can use an extension right. pole yeah. that you're not bent over. Exactly, doing the patio. you don't have to do it on your knees neither. Okay, Absolutely. So with a brush like this, and you'll notice how long the bristles are and how flimsy they are right I see. yeah you can uh, you can come in a bit closer you can see perfect great so the reason for that is when you're dipping this into your stain these long bristles actually drag the colorant along the board okay so you're you're moving that colorant along to get that semi-transparent a little bit darker seeing the wood grain it comes out beautiful um, and a good point is that you don't want to stop halfway through the same board Mm. Reason being is your hand pressure can can be different from yeah, when you're doing one yeah, board, one take a break. So make sure you finish one board completely before you start the next one and then continue on. So this is your number one applicator for exterior stain. Absolutely. And you can use that for both semi-transparent and, and for solid. solid. Okay. Here we have an applicator that is a foam applicator that do to do across the boards. Yep. This is great for a solid color okay. because it's just pulling the solid color across. You're not looking for grain, you're hiding the grain with a solid color. So then we go to a brush and we'll after the the first coat is dry you go down and do in between your boards and you'll notice when you have when you're doing that section it matches what we've done here yes exactly. to pull down in between the boards and that'll make it nice and even color throughout and a beautiful patio to enjoy all summer great great I've heard hairless sprayer can be good the compressor absolutely you can I actually personally really like using my compressor sprayers when I'm doing staining okay the thing to remember though is using those it should only be done with a solid stain uh, okay because great. with a semi-transparent you want all of those sort of lighter colors of the grain to come through and with, yes, exactly. with a sprayer it can come out sort of blotchy when it's a semi-transparent yeah but comes out perfectly smooth and really really nice on a solid um, obviously if you're using something like that like a sprayer you you have to play a little bit with a test spot to make of sure course. you're getting your even spray but yes absolutely any any one of these can be used in a sprayer in a solid stain only okay great thank you very much you're welcome drying time yeah what would you suggest for for i, I wouldn't step on a newly done patio for that day okay so uh, at day. least 24 hours absolutely okay, so again we want to make sure that there's no rain the day before the day of or the day after mm -hmm. which in some parts of the country can be a little tough <laughs> but we'll get there okay that is important because once the stain is on the patio if you do get rain or if you do get frost if you do for the low applica uh, yeah, low temperature, low temperature or if you yep. do get drizzle or fog or anything like that that water is going to soak into the stain on the deck and it will wash it away and you won't get the same effect okay very good again You're great welcome. input thank you i hope you appreciate it if you had any other question please communicate with the clerks at canadian tire they can communicate with us if they don't find an answer for you thank you very much see you next time